It's pretty incredible how peaceful riding this route is. I mean, I always loved it when I was on my RC-51 and my F4, my BTR, pretty much all my motorcycles. But with the electric DSR, there's something incredible about it, about no shifting, no heat, no vibration, and basically instant torque. It makes the riding experience even more incredible. This is Skyline Boulevard that leads up to Woodside. I'll be going on one of my favorite little roads, Tanitas Canyon. Uh, I'm sorry, it's called Tanitas Creek Road. It's technical, slower, goes through the redwoods. It literally is gorgeous. And since I have the sound sorted out on my camera now, I don't actually mind talking too much. Although it's not quite as peaceful talking as I ride. And I can remember the days that I would get really frustrated um, being stuck behind cars, kind of like I am now. It's the pre-race track days. I like to think that I was a fast guy. But I learned quickly that once you go to the track, going fast on the street is really stupid. To me, it's the equivalent of learning martial arts and thinking you're going to be a kick-ass fighter right away. Okay, I'm going to pass. Well, no, I won't pass. There's somebody coming. There's nobody behind me. It's a beautiful day. There's no reason to be cruising around. I think what I'm going to do pretty soon, though, is pull over and find out why um, my remote isn't controlling the camera. Because I would actually like to stop it right now, so I'm going to pull over. I'm sure it's pretty obvious why I love this road. It's just stunning. And as much as I'd love to live up here, after watching all the fires in California, I decided I never want to own a home in a forested area. Sad. You okay? Yeah, I just couldn't get out of my car seat. You need any first aid or anything? No, no, I'm okay. Okay. All right, take care.
Oh. I think what I'll do up here is just pull over. Because often what I do, although I didn't do it today, is I pack a lunch and I just find a spot up here that's beautiful, which is pretty much the whole place. I have a chair in the back and I just sit down and enjoy a lunch. The other thing I've noticed as I ride this road is because the way I go here is mostly downhill, I literally don't use any battery. I start off at a certain percentage and then when I get to the bottom, I notice um, I'm either at the same percentage or higher all because of the region. The bicycle riders that ride up this thing, I, I hand it to them because you cannot tell how steep the grade is, but it's pretty steep. Coming uphill, Whew, must be quite the workout. I'm certainly in not the shape to do that, that's for sure. Whew. It's gorgeous. Oh darn it, that's a little alcove I use, or I sometimes stop, just missed it. I love riding up here during the week. Weekends, of course, just like I used to do. Lots of motorcycles up here. Lots of squids. Lots of wannabe racers. Hell, I was one of them. And I actually never thought I would street ride again. After being at the track and teaching other people and racing just I didn't feel like I would actually I'm going to pull over right here just to illustrate how peaceful it is Ooh. so my bike doesn't fall over <laughs> pretty soft here should be okay So this is what I experience. Pretty much solitude and quiet. Actually, I'm gonna stop here for a little bit. Just enjoy the beauty of where we're at.
So I feel that um, in order for me to have a rear drone shot, I'm going to have to wait until my new selfie stick comes that locks like my uh, normal monopod does for my camera. Because when I took this down, I noticed that it had slid down. I'll be able to tell how that happened when I review the uh, video. So it doesn't seem the uh, rear drone shot was successful this time either because of the selfie stick sliding down. I'm going to leave it on the side for a little bit for when I get on Coast Highway. 